And Michigan's congressional delegation was at the center of today's vote with two West Michigan Republicans, Fred Upton and Peter Meyer, voting with the Democrats to impeach. Mara McDonald live downtown. Mara, really interesting to note Congressman Meyer's position here. He just got onto the job last week. What an introduction to Congress. You're not kidding, Devin. Meyer is actually the scion of, yes, that Meyer family. And as you said, he's so new to Congress that when his vote on impeachment was made public, all those cable news anchors were struggling to pronounce the name and failing magnificently, so much so that members of the Michigan delegation were texting them on air to tell them how to say it. Well, tonight, Meyer and his other colleagues are explaining their votes. Take a look. You know, at the end of the day, um, this was a vote of conscience, and this is where my conscience led me. Meyer, the freshman from Michigan, one of only 10 Republicans in the House, to vote for impeachment. Unless we address this and tackle it head on, uh, unless we make sure to send a resounding message that this is not acceptable, uh, then we risk just papering over some of these divisions. And then the wounds will never truly heal, you know, unless we air them out, unless we fully understand what happened, and unless we send that signal that this is not something that can ever be acceptable from an American leader. He was joined by the most senior of the Michigan delegation, Fred Upton, both men from the west side of the state. But the president's remarks that uh, his actions were, in his words, totally appropriate. Uh, as he called these folks patriots as they were tearing down the Capitol, people were being killed. He saw a gallows that was constructed on the east lawn of the Capitol. And we now know that they wanted to kidnap Mike Pence. Michigan's Democrats all supported impeachment. We and this country cannot begin healing in unity without accountability and justice. The President of the United States incited a violent insurrection against Congress, you, me, and the Vice President of the United States. Republican Bill Huizenga was a no vote on the impeachment, along with McLean, Wahlberg, and Bergman. On this process, this being jammed through in the last week, with not a single hearing, not a single shred of explore, exploring the evidence of what had gone on. Back here live, it's going to be interesting to see whether Upton and Meyer get any blowback for this vote. Already, Congresswoman Liz Cheney, who also voted for impeachment of the president, is being threatened with having certain assignments taken away from her. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Local four. Really has been quite a uh, day to watch, especially uh, the Meyer journey on all of this. We'll see how that holds him as he uh, starts his career in Congress. All right, Mara.